Hello everyone. Welcome to Radiology Area YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Simeta syndrome. This is also known as hypogenetic lung syndrome. This is a type of partial anomalous pulmonary venous return and one of the several findings in congenital pulmonary venuloba syndrome. And the Simeta syndrome is characterized by a hypoplastic lung and ipsilateral anomalous systemic venous drainage. It is almost exclusively occur on the right side. This anomalous vein usually drain into inferior vena cava, it is the most common type, or coronary sinus or right atrium, or hepatic or portal vein. When considering the clinical features of Simita syndrome, infants can present with sign of heart failure. Among adults, this is most frequently asymptomatic, but you can see recurrent pulmonary infections, dyspnea on exertion, and right to left shunt which is leading to pulmonary hypertension and Eisenmenger phenomenon. And you can see number of association conditions of Simita syndrome which can be either congenital heart disease like ASD, VSD, tetralogy of palate and PDA or ipsilateral diaphragmatic anomalies like accessory diaphragm, diaphragmatic hernia or you can see the localized bronchiectasis, horseshoe lungs, vertebral anomalies like hemivertebrae and gentle unit tract abnormalities or pulmonary sequestration. When considering radiological imaging, you can see following changes in plain x-rays. A small hyperplastic lung with the ipsilateral mediastinal shift. The main finding is anomalous draining or scimita vein. This is a tubular shadow structure it's a resembling a cowed shot of turkey. It's called as scimita. And this is parallel to the right heart border and running towards the base of the lung. And this vein is not seen in half of cases on chest X-rays. And you may see blurred right heart border. And contrast in a CT chest is the best technique for the evaluating lung and evaluating abnormal vein and where it to drains. In treatment and prognosis of Semita syndrome, surgical correction should be considered if there is significant left to right shunting and pulmonary hypertension and anomalous vein can be re-implanted directly into the left atrium. When considering differential diagnosis of Simita syndrome, you can consider about pulmonary sequestration, right middle lobe atelectasis on AP chest x-ray, unilateral absence of pulmonary artery or meandering pulmonary vein. Right, today we will discuss about Simita syndrome. So if, if you like the video, you can like it comment it and share among your friends and if you are not subscribed yet you can subscribe the channel and click the bell button then we will see you soon with our next video until then goodbye see you